we are going back into what is this part two is this part two i think part, it's part two. two yeah yeah okay so we're going back into part two um of episode seven jesus to think that it'll be 28 hours um at the end of today that we've been doing this because four hours episode Fun. okay Cool. Wow. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, when we left off, you guys were, three of you, um, have, were going into the, I guess the city capital, city council building, whatever. Um, Warren, you're back eating a loaf of bread like Aladdin does, and um, just minus the, I'm mon the monkey. Minus the monkey. So, um, I think Raru is about as tall as the monkey. Yeah, I mean, so he's like a mixture of the two. That's okay. Raru is so. the monkey. Oh, 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 yeah. that changes everything. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah. You guys are assholes. <laughs> Robert, Robert it, was the MVP. Is this really the first time you realized that, Robert? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so we have not been doing our job. Uh, yeah, the, the guards and the mayor, or Mayor Theo, are going to be the first ones to obviously go into the building. Um, and then, Father White, you're going to follow in suit. Uh, when you yep. walk in, you're going to see a whole bunch of desks, um, all abandoned, nobody there, nobody sitting there. Uh, papers kind of ruffled all around. A couple of desks maybe have been flipped due to anger, probably. Um, mm -hmm. And then, like, you see a door in the far back right that's been opened. Um, you can assume probably that's where the uh, the mayor and the two guards went to see if the mayor of the town's still here. Um, when you get there, you actually do see that uh, the the mayor and the two guards are actually talking to another gentleman um, with that also has a couple of guards kind of surrounding him. Um, so when you, when you walk in, uh, you see that the, the other two guards kind of ready their swords, almost like they're ready for you to come at them or something like that. Um, so they want to beat the ass of an old man. It's all right. <laughs> well, it's okay. They're used, yeah. They, they know that the, uh, the, the Raiders were in town. And mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so when you when you get to that door, they see you know the entrance into that back room. Uh, the two guards that are that are guarding uh, the mayor of this town, you can assume, um, kind of mm -hmm. like I said, ready their swords um, very very quickly. Um, I was just the sword of my hand. I mean, I mean no harm. Who are you? Uh, yells one of the guards. I'm, I'm traveling with the mayor. That's all you really need to know. Mayor Theo, is this one of yours? And he's gonna kind of look back. No, he's like, yeah, he's he he's helping. Uh, escort me uh, to the capital. Um, so, yeah, uh, you get there. I mean, he seems pretty safe. Um, doesn't seem like anything's going on. Uh, you're going to kind of hear the conversation between the two. Um, they're going to talk a lot about how um, the town's kind of been going uh, under the raids for about a month, month and a half now. Um, at first, the, you know, they had quite a few guards. Uh, they were able to put up quite a bit of resistance, but eventually mm -hmm. um, the ogres and uh, the big work were able to um, basically take over. And it seemed like it was mainly the big work that was doing a lot of the, a lot of the damage. Um, but as soon, like as soon as he would kill a couple people, it, they always found out that he would retreat and they never understood why they didn't know if it was like one of the strategic things or whatever. Um, but yeah, it always seemed like the, once the orc lost control, they had to like leave, uh, in order to keep him from kind of going too crazy. Okay. So. Yeah, basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, he, you're going to hear him say, you know, we sent for help uh, to Bella Chulish. We uh, haven't even heard back uh, our courier even has a hard time getting uh, letters out without being caught or stopped or the letters even being caught midway uh, in between the other towns. So, um, well, you know, you hear him talk about how you've killed the two orcs, the big ogre, um, the, assumingly, mm -hmm. you know, the, they probably, they probably saw the dead bodies laying on the ground as they walked by, but they didn't really go examine it. So like, Hey, yeah, uh, so-and-so our, our group, our band of party members here, have hopefully, uh, rid the, the city of the, um, yeah, the, the, the bandits have been raiding the town. Um, so yeah, he's gonna, the, the mayor here, he's gonna introduce some, introduce himself, excuse me. Um, okay. Um, my name is Mayor Thompson Hillwater. Uh, what what can I call you, sir? Uh, my name is Father White. Oh, nice to meet you, Father White. Um, Likewise. Mayor Theo here tells me that you guys have um, basically basically exterminated this bandit uh, bandit raid. Uh, we certainly hope that we have. Um, 
We hope that they, they nor anyone else will cause you any trouble in the future. Do you have some sort of proof? Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, is there some sort of proof that you um, can provide? Yeah, I do believe that your blacksmith walked away with the proof and is currently hanging in the center of town as sort of an homage to the victory. Okay. Um, then let's, uh, let's, let's go examine it. Um, do you, do you, I mean, do you go to yes. go look for this Father White? Yeah, yeah, I'll go with him. Okay. Uh, on the way out, Achilles, Bree, you guys are walking in. Uh, and again, you see the two guards kind of perch up real quick and like draw their swords really, really quickly. As um, soon as they do that, careful, careful. They're, they're with us as well. Um, and then, like, he, Mayor Hillwater um, actually kind of looks over at Mayor Theo, kind of gives a nod, and he's like, okay. And then he tells, like, his men to stand down. Uh, were, then, we, uh, they... were we able to hear them say, do you have the proof? No. Okay. I mean, you see them walking out. You see Father White with them. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, you can, you, you have no idea what's going on. You, you're, yeah, you just see them walking out. It's all on you now, whatever, whatever you want to okay. say. Uh, where are we going, gentlemen? Uh, you are, if you don't mind me asking there, Sir Dwarf. Uh, this is the, the mayor talking that you don't know. It's, yeah, he's one that's surrounded by two guards that you don't know either. Where are we going? You are? Yeah, he, yeah, you asked where are we going, and he's like, who, who are you, Sir Dwarf? Oh, oh, okay. I thought you said, like, (laughs) who are you? You are going, like, (laughs) oh, okay. Bree's not too intelligent, guys. Come on. I, I heard it wrong, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Bree, I'm talking to you. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. He's got to mentally prepare saying. himself for this speech. <laughs> uh, did you literally just forget who you were? It's, it's, that's fine to say. You can say that. It's okay. We're all friends here. If you need to, just pretend to cough and point at Father White. He'll help you I'm, out. I'm, uh, I'm Prizzle? Prizzle? Is that right? Prizzle? Pringle? Am I Pringle? <laughs> who am I? Who are you? <laughs> Uh, but Who yeah. are you people? <laughs> I'm Bree, and we're part of the group that just saved your asses. Arses. Arses? Arses. Either way, Arses. it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to say. Arses. Do I know oh, his God. name? Do I know his name? The mayor's? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Do I know he's the mayor? Uh, you. He's got some a lot better clothing on uh, compared to most that you've seen, so you can assume. Okay. Um... All right, Sir Bree. Um, I'm Mayor Thompson Hillwater. Um, we're actually going to try to confirm what you just said. Forgive my ill-mannered forward. My forward friend here, forward uh, friend, my lord, my my lord mayor. I am uh, Archduke Kane Repness at your service. We were the part of the party that uh, disbanded the orcs for you. Pleasure to meet you. Um, yeah, uh, we're headed to to get proof, and supposedly a black the blacksmith has the proof and has mounted it out front. Indeed, uh, he uh, I cut off the head of the pale orc, and uh, your blacksmith decided to put it on a pole for you as a okay. tribute to your town. Okay. Uh, so yeah, then let's finish our fourth and show me the proof. Proof. Good old rotting brain of an orc. <laughs> So yeah, he uh, uh, yeah he's gonna start just start walking. You guys can either fall in line or you can go first. Either way, um, but yeah, like they're you're now walking through this this huge room uh, filled with just empty desks everywhere. Uh, like again, a couple flipped and uh, yeah, you guys get outside and um, you walk about a block. So the building that's on the left, you walk a block to the right. So what I guess south, west. You walk a block west. In uh, direction. Yeah. So instead of turning left to go into the building, you actually walk, you're actually walking a block right now uh, to get to the courtyard. Um, when you get to the courtyard, you actually do see um, the uh, – it wasn't a blacksmith. It was actually the person that sold quarterstaffs. Um, the blacksmith was the one that did the armor. Yeah, the, more or less a quartersmith, yeah. Sticksmith, sorry. Yeah, sticksmith, yeah. He didn't, he didn't have any <laughs> metal weapons or anything. Um, mm-hmm. So he's like – Ah, oh, Jacob. Jacob's the one doing it. Not the not the blacksmith. You guys. Either way. Uh, Whatever. It, it appears that uh, <laughs> I don't the, know him. the orc has been dispatched. Um, 
yeah, I mean, I appreciate it, obviously. Um, do we know where the corpses are? Would not like these to be seen out in public too too much. Um, this is well, they're in public. They're pretty big. This is a pretty big turning point for us. Uh, cities went down. We need to bring it back up. So then, um, if he's staying this out, I would probably say then you probably shouldn't let Jacob hang their heads in the middle of the town square. Yeah, I'm gonna address that later. But right now, it's <laughs> a head is a I lot. I like it for right now. A head's a lot yeah. better than about seven to eight bodies. I'm assuming. Um, just well, one of them's headless. <laughs> one of them's headless. Mayor, they're, they're they're sitting feeding the carrion outside of uh, the crimson gutter. What if uh, that orc wasn't really dead and he becomes the head? Which I. Th- <laughs> Which I think is probably an upgrade to the Crimson Cutter. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so he's going to tell the guard, he's going to kind of like uh, motion the guards, like, uh, hey, let's go get that cleaned up, get, it, get as many people as you can, round them up, uh, let's get the bodies cleared out, um, and then let's start sending notice out to the surrounding cities, let them know that uh, been an issue's been dealt with, and yeah, hopefully we'll start seeing... Uh, a rise in business again and hopefully be booming. Um, if you gentlemen um, would like to accompany me, um, I would like to reward you uh, for for your service, uh, for helping protect my city. Um, it's already went downhill enough, but um, could have been way worse um, in helping also protect my wife and my kids. So if you'll please accompany me back to the, uh, the city hall, uh, yeah, I'd like to reward you. I nod and follow. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, are you all following besides Warren? Because Warren, Warren's eating. Yep. eating. No, I'm a fatty. <laughs> I'm a fatty. <laughs> He's eating his fucking cheese fries right now. <laughs> oh, my God. You get back in the just... bar, Breezy. <laughs> <laughs> and Warren's eating cheese fries. You're like, fuck, they had cheese fries? <laughs> This God brings up this, 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 <laughs> this something really quick, by the way. I work at Experimac. And some dude came in today, and he's like, "Do you guys serve experimental mac and cheese?" I fucking I could not stop laughing in front of was this guy. Was he drunk? Like, I don't know what. Did you guys have orcs? I thought about it, and I was like, "That would be like the coolest fucking like." Jesus. <laughs> do you guys have? Do you guys have orbs? Do you sell oh. orbs? Are there orbs here? That's, you have salt? That's not every you day, salt? stupid. That's advanced. <laughs> That's advanced, stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I digress. It was really funny. Um, all right. So, yeah. I mean, you get back to the uh, to the city council. Um, you go back to the back far room that you guys originally came from. Um, and he pulls out a nice-sized uh, lockbox almost. Pretty big. Uh, he's going to open it up. Um, and he's going to set out, hold on. I don't, I can't do this math in my head. I had it. I had it for four people. I don't have it for three. Um, he's going to give you about 1700 gold per person. Jeez. Um, um, for the, yeah, for the three of you, uh, um, so uh, 1.7 plat. Yeah. 1.7 plat. Um, I'll, I'll turn to, uh, Bree and it's, uh, master dwarf. Uh, I know I owe you some money. How much? Do I? <laughs> I have it written down. <laughs> I'm pretty oh sure you God. fucking do. <laughs> you money growing little hussy. Continue on with the story. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. He's got to look through his fucking taxes for A man it. of cloth. <laughs> also a man of debt. Um, being a man of cloth, uh, I do not keep much money. My my plan now is to pay back a debt, and then um, what is left, I would like to give to the people of this town. I do not wish to keep the money. I have no use for but it. But you do understand that praying can't get you money, and that owing a debt's also a sin. But a debt to a friend is um, a way of paying back a sin. It shows those around you that you need them, and they need you. So one wrong equals one right. Understood. I do not My agree Lord with your wrongs. <laughs> well, to, to owe a debt, it's like uh, it's like you borrow money from me, and then you can't pay it back because you don't accept money. But, but I can but pay it back through my actions, like I have today. Well, yeah, but what if, if my what actions if were worth seventeen hundred gold? 
then you would not have let me borrow the money in the first place. Well, but I didn't know you, and you seem like like you know, you're a man of the cloth. I I trust your word. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted the money back, obviously I'm going to let you, you know, have the money, trusting that I'm going to get it back. But then you provide repayment via actions. Not necessarily always the best way to go. Your choice, of course. Um, however, well, it seems like today they've paid in spades because your town is today saved is and you very, are alive. Today is very different. Agreed. But uh, it's not so different with every day of my life. If you can ask the mayor that we are currently accompanying has how been, well we've done with he, his life. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, I just, I, I feel that, you know, someday paying a debt's actually going to be having to pay a debt, um, either with your life or with, with the gold that's owed. Fair enough, sir. Well, let me worry about the Lord and you worry about your town. <laughs> breezy, breezy, but I'm <laughs> Which you might, which you might want to start worrying about sometime soon. Oh, instead I've, of hiding I've... in a uh, instead of hiding in a closet and let other people do your work, uh, I oh. was, was not my mention was not my pro problem. And as soon as he does that, I'll just leave the gold on the counter. I'll walk out, and then I will gratefully take it for him. <laughs> He's gonna let you take it. Yeah, you Master still owe me three hundred fifteen also... gold. <laughs> Master Dwarf, we should also consider Warren, uh, as he helped us both in the in the. I don't know you battle. shit, Breezy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's 60 gold that times 5 man. days with a 5% interest rate. <laughs> oh my god! That was 1,700 gold, Breezy. It was written down, I shit you not. <laughs> I don't agree to your goddamn Breezy, <laughs> Breezy he's saying he doesn't owe you anything because he just left 1,700 gold the day I before know, you. Um, yeah, and the mayor's going to say, Sir Jorf, I would be careful lending your man of cloth more money if he's only going to repay in actions. Someday you'll get the stick in the ass. Do I hear him say this? You already walked out. So I got out. another one. You walked out. Walk like, so I got a fucking another one. You already walked out. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. I'm rolling. Don't worry, bear. It'll break. <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was pretty good, Breezy. <laughs> um, With that, I shake my head and I, and I say, hey, Mayor, thank you for your kindness. And I do hope that your town comes into a lot better luck in the future. Um, absolutely. I would appreciate it if you guys would help spread the word. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Mayor Theo uh, has talked about your um, your travelings. Uh, least you can do, just spread the word. Let them know that uh, Veripol is no longer under siege, more or less. Um, that it's now safe um, and it's starting to prosper again. Uh, the best thing you can do for me. Uh, Will do, Mayor. Best of luck in the future. Uh, same to you, Archduke Kane. Rep repness. And yeah, he, he he goes to shake your hand. I shake his and well, and I do a polite, you know, head bow and yep. excuse myself. Yep, absolutely. Uh, I head to the blacksmith. I figure that we're going to be here for a little while. Okay, you'll be uh, you'll be here for a little bit. Um, so, technical <clears throat> question: Does the stick that I took from the barmaid that I have no plans on giving back does that count as a quarter staff? I mean, it's quarter staff ish, yes. I mean, it'll 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 act the exact same. She was using a pretty hardened wooden staff. <laughs> That's what you're asking. So, so yeah, I'm planning on keeping that. Okay. So, all right. At least Fair you're enough. honest with yourself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, true, he is. Um, okay. So, Bree, what are you doing? I'm assuming you're like, are you like counting the gold, or are you just kind of oh swimming it all into a pal? He's or... fucking filling a bathtub with it, <laughs> swimming around in it like fucking Donald. Duck. By the way, by the way, I did tell. Bree, and I'm sure everybody will tell you this, but I did tell Bree we should also think about war. Yeah, I did hear that. Just life. Yeah, we but it's just life. He's not gonna think <laughs> about it. Uh -uh. Got himself in his mind. <laughs> no, I'm just. I'm for everybody else to know. I did tell Bree that if yes. you, you I know just, what I break was, over so there. any of my future actions will be judged by that. <laughs> yeah. um, um, Breezy, bah, yeah. we're still in the room, right? Uh, you and um, Mayor Hillwater are. Okay. Um, good mayor. There was another person in our group, a very, very Jesus. good gnome that could use some extra uh, use of his cut of the share. Everybody. His heart grew seven times. <laughs> <laughs> is 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 uh, the man of cloth money not good enough for him? Hey, he is <laughs> his own like, person. But, he is but this is my person. money now. <laughs> the chose to not accept. Uh. So he's gonna pull out the uh, 
the lockbox, and he's going to hand you five plat. Five dollars. Man, I'm calling this right now. That right. Breezy does not give that money to Warren. <laughs> he, only get, yeah, he only gives you 500 gold, five plat. Um, and he's like, uh, due to Mayor Cloth not wanting his money, do you want those those turned into plat as well? So you don't have to carry around a shit ton of gold. Yes, please. Okay, so yeah, he uh, he exchanges it. Uh, so you, well, you get what, like thirty four plat, thirty. So you have like thirty nine plat now on you. Um, five for Jesus. for Warren, um, seventeen for you, and seventeen uh, Father White's. There's always the money bags in the group. <laughs> There's always the money bags. The walking bank. <laughs> that doesn't share. That doesn't mm-hmm. share. So Did yeah. Dead? Uh, All right. Yeah, and he's gonna be like, uh, Sir Dwarf, I w- you should probably think very wisely about your decisions and how you, you know, what you choose to do with that money. I think we're sitting here trying to help the mayor here, and we're running him dry by taking his money. <laughs> uh, you're, you see, you think you're running it dry. Yeah, so he okay. sounds like a cockle anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting ready to get a broken quarter staff up the butt. <laughs> You know, you I'll take your words under advisement there. Uh, oh, fair enough. Uh, any any further business that we have? Uh, I do have quite a bit uh, that I do need to attend to. Obviously, restoring my city to its once prospering point. And pouring drinks. Hey. <laughs> Kool Aid, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have such a giant jug of Kool Aid? <laughs> Why not? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for someone to do it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. So we realized Rich drinks like three gallons of Kool Aid every day. <laughs> Guys, I have a problem. <laughs> We're holding an intervention next week. <laughs> Kool Aid intervention. I didn't. I did not. Is Achilles talking with his mic muted? Sorry. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there's the... There's the... <laughs> Tune in to next Wednesday, foreplay, intervention of Rich and Kool-Aid. <laughs> that's, where, that's where you gotta have me there and be like, Rich, you're not black. Take it easy on the Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh. Oh. But it was red colored. Hey, uh, I don't know if that applies. <laughs> Red is not grave. Oh, Red geez. is not grave. <laughs> Kool-Aid's Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> yes, it is Kool-Aid. It is not, like, motor oil. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> Jesus, I never thought about it. <laughs> I mean, Kool-Aid, motor oil, gasoline. I mean, I mean uh, the difference. It all has the same effect on the body. <laughs> Oh shit! Good lord. Um, okay. Yep. So yeah, uh, you guys headed back to. Well, I think the rest of you are headed back to the tavern already. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Father White was first. Nice. Kane, you were second. Uh, More, what are you doing? You probably have had time to finish your bread. Yeah. A little party. <laughs> um, I probably asked for a room. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's it's probably about seven seven fifteen p.m. Going to get a room. Um, assuming you guys are staying the night. Um. Yeah, she gets you a room, and she said, uh, "She again thanks you for everything you've done for the town, and says that it's you know on the house, even though you do have a piece of paper." Um, but yeah, she gives you again another. She gives you a room key as well, um, different than Kane's. So good, good. Yep. Okay. We'll just go and set my stuff down and head back down to the tavern. Okay. Uh, yeah, Father White walks in about that time. Um, as soon as you get back downstairs. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, you guys got a moment to talk if you want to. Uh, what what have you been doing, Father White? We, um, we managed to, um, have the pleasure of meeting the mayor of this town. Um, I'm not sure if saving it was the best option. And if the, um, the picture on the wanted board was not the, uh, best intent but regards that's just here and over there um i do believe the others were rewarded for their duty i did not choose to take it and i i'm sorry that i did not think of you in that moment 
It's all good. You you have your you own thing to worry about. <laughs> Wait, <Right>. money? <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, I do believe we all are compensated in the end. That's good. Um, we should probably head to the stables and tell the guy that he doesn't have to watch the carriage anymore. I thought he was right outside the bar. Was yeah, he? I'm, yeah. I was say he's he's uh, pretty close to the bar. He's store. yeah. He's like Remember he came in with the, with the he's orchids, the one that actually yeah. took the orchid. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if he was still sitting there watching the carriage, not aware of anything going on around him. Oh, carriage has been unwatched for a while. Oh, that's probably good. 30 minutes or so. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably make my way outside then and uh, try to make camp for the night. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm going to plop down five platinum in front of our, our uh, Warren. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, Warren, you get you get five plat. Um, yeah. Thank you, Sir Dwarf. Good. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, Kane, you're back as well at the uh, at the bar. Um, blacksmith. Uh, oh yeah, excuse me, blacksmith. Yeah, uh, you get to blacksmith. Um, and when you walk in, oh, uh, oh who, what would the fuck was a blacksmith I here last time? Was it a was it a man? It was definitely it was a, man. a man. I don't remember if he was old or not. Sexist. I, I don't think so. He was middle aged. I think he was middle aged. He, 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 anyway, yeah. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm about to close up shop, but uh, always have time for a customer. What can I do for you? Uh, you know, I apologize for the lateness of the hour, but you know, as we have just liberated the town from the uh, from the orcs, as I not to keep reminding you, we just saved the town. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years no, later, I, he came to the town. Hey, I promised him. The time. I promised him. I promised him because because he told me it was orcs, and I and I said, you know, I'll dispatch him. Because That's I true. hate orcs. That's true. Ah, uh, so you know, as formerly promised, uh, you know, the, the town is liberated, and uh, you know, you're free to do. Anything. Uh, <laughs> you had, yeah. How long would it would it take for you to create a, uh, you know, a set of armor and plate in uh, plate steel? Ooh, plate. Oh. Um, I don't yet have the materials required um to do such a thing. Um. I probably have to order, have it imported uh, from the capital. Uh, so it take a couple days for it to get here, and then a couple days for me to probably make it. I've not made plate in quite some time, um, so it, I mean you're probably looking at about probably about a week at least uh, in order for me to do a full plate set. Um, but again, most of it, a lot of the time is going to be just waiting on me getting the materials here, um, as you well know. Uh, a lot of my materials, a lot of my my inventory has been. More or less stolen, taken from me. Uh, so you know, I don't, I don't have a lot here, um, or else it'd be a lot quicker. But yeah, um, I just, what you said is true. Um, I can probably have it done in about a week and a half, ten days, ten, ten, eleven days. These people have trust issues. Can't believe our word. This whole town is full of fuckery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I understand. Kid was a dick. I understand, sir. Uh, I have one other request uh, before I put in that order. Okay. Uh, one that I do need uh, within the next couple of days, I, I assume for however long we're going to be here. Um, is there a way that you can make a staff out of metal? A metal staff? Yes. I have a, uh, I have a companion who... So you can't fucking break have, it. Who <laughs> seems to have hey, trouble with hey, staff. Breezy broke his hammer. <laughs> Anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I, As cracked he he I cracked Granted, it. Granted, he was trying to attack a house. To, but... He seems to break his, <laughs> his wooden staffs quite often, and uh, I'm hoping to try to help him out. Um, I can attempt it, but I mean, I'm not. I can't make any promises on how it's going to turn out. Um, I don't even know like how I'd go about it. Just make one really like seven foot long metal pole. I would assume is. I mean, is that is that, is that what we're asking? Sucks. And what Something kind of sol solid that would be very difficult to break? Uh, what kind of metal are you wanting me to use? Iron would be fine. Um, cast iron. You know, is my understanding that cast iron is quite hard. I iron's definitely hard. It obviously punctures your body if it's sharp enough. Um, now, if you're trying to kill a house, obviously it's not going to work. Um, but <laughs> you silently <laughs> chuckle to yourself. Um, <laughs> I mean, on it, it's really You'd just a matter of paying for the labor. 
I have, I think I'd have enough here to make about a seven foot pole. I mean, what what diameter are you looking for in the pole? Like, does it need to be like six inch diameter or are we just talking like three and a quarter inch? Something. Full diameter is across, yeah. by the way. So yeah, that diameter is across. So like a quarter is about like an, an, an inch away. diameter, give or take. Probably, probably three, three, uh, three and a half, three and a quarter. Three, three and a half. Yeah. Um, you know what? Give me one second. Let me check out back and see if I have enough iron for that. Uh, what? Six foot, seven feet. Six foot would be fine. A six foot would be fine. Let's see if I. Uh, oof! Comes back and. Uh, you know what? Damn. I I I can maybe make about a three foot one right now. Um. When it, whenever, if you're wanting to place the order for the plate armor, I can place in an order for some iron as well and, and make the staff for you. Um, um, it shouldn't, it, it, it would only add a, it probably won't even add a day. The, the, it's the, it's the plate armor that's really going to kill me, um, on time wise. The, the staff doesn't seem too bad. Um, it's just very, it's very indifferent from, from what I've actually done before. So. Um, um, I know this is medic game, but how long do we plan on being here? Uh, well, I mean, you got to be in the, you're trying to get to the capital as soon as you can. Um, gotcha. Yeah, so like the mayor earlier talked about how you're either going to leave out tonight or you're going to leave out first thing in the morning, depending on how you guys as a group are feeling. Um, but you're also have to come back through here to escort the mayor back to his hometown. Sure. Um, so you're like two or three days away from the the. The capital. You're going to spend four days in the capital. That was his plan, and then you're going to spend two or three days coming back to the town. So I mean, you're looking at what six, eight, about ten or eleven days there. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but again, a lot of it's just him trying to get the materials imported in time. Yeah, and this, this town doesn't have. Uh, that's that's honestly what a lot of it is. He could get it done sooner if he had the materials. He just didn't have the, he doesn't have the materials uh, due to, gotcha. yeah. I'm actually looking at prices right now because I've never actually I've done prices for about everything else besides armor which I probably should do um, so yeah I mean if you want I can go ahead and place the order or if you want um, I can maybe recommend someone in, in the next town or in the capital I know I know quite a few good blacksmith uh, blacksmiths are you know held up in in the capital obviously they get a lot more business there and that's where they actually make a lot of their military grade plate armor. I'll take your recommendations. Uh, you know, we're not we don't find we're not going to find ourselves in this town for very long. So right. Um, okay, um, you might want to check out. Uh, it's it's in the middle district um, of the capital. Um, you'll you'll soon know what that means. Probably a little bit later uh, tonight. Um, let's see if we can find a quick blacksmith name. Just just because. Um, might want to check out the um, old rusty scrapyard. I know it sounds kind of odd, but uh, trust me, uh, he knows what he's doing. He knows he's pr probably makes the finest plate armor I think I've ever seen made, and he does it in about half the time as anyone else. So um, again, it's in the middle district and in, in, up in Bella Chulish. Um If you guys are headed that way, um, he could probably get it done pretty quickly for you. So yeah. I appreciate it. <clears throat> no problem, I, absolutely. <clears throat> sorry. Okay. And I lay down five gold and uh, for your time and your information again. Thank oh, you. I appreciate it. Uh, have a good night, and thank you for for helping, I guess, revive the city. Much appreciated. And I head back to the uh, to the tavern. Okay. So yeah, uh, Father White, when you get it, you you head out, and I mean, you see nothing's wrong with the table. Nothing seems to be tampered with. Uh, you actually mm -hmm. see Timmy back there, just kind of laying in the back of the cart, looking up at the clouds. Good evening, oh, Timmy. Uh, are you well? Oh, I'm fine. Um, everything's just been so hectic lately. Seems like if there's not a fight going on, you know, we're about to run into one. Well, Timmy, I hate to break this fact to you, but if you continue with us, that is going to be your reality in the near future. It has been so far, and I believe it will only get worse. Well, what makes you think that? Timmy, the things that we are seeing are, have only been escalating so far. Would you agree? Um, I mean, I know about the two fights, obviously the one here in town, and I know about the one you guys basically freed me from my, my torture. Um, I don't know of any others, really. 
He wasn't with the wizard. Well, then just just believe in in what I say, Timmy. And, and let me ask you a question: Why are you with us? What do you hope to gain from traveling with us? I honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, it's safer, I feel, to be with someone that I know is worthy and capable of handling their own than to to stay somewhere and potentially become someone else's slave. Even knowing that where we head may not may end in your death as well as ours. I mean, at least I'm dying with people that are trying to protect me rather than people that are already trying to kill me. Oh, we run back into Cassandra. <laughs> <laughs> well, then let me ask you this, Timmy. Would you be willing to to learn, to to help, to uh, be more than just someone who's, you know, on the cart and, you know, fearing for when the next time they may die or be enslaved? Absolutely. I'm tired of being uh, a burden, more or less. I don't like being left behind. And, you know, how do I, you know, if you, when you say you guys are going to go fight, you know, it may be the last time I see you guys. And, I mean, granted, we don't have the best bond, but, I mean, you guys are fighting to protect me. The least I can do is to maybe help save you guys at some point. I don't oh know. My God, are we keeping Timmy to I fight? <clears throat> Timmy's going to be the best minion ever. Um, <laughs> I've um, actually then, found a child, I wish actually found a book um who who's your god uh, mine? jesus christ mine it, is i've it already I, forgotten is it mine no no no, no is it the goddess uh, of i is it god of knowledge yeah i think it's ioun like right Augram. i o u n or is, you yeah, have a it's either ioun or Augram. i'm not sure which um if we went I feel like it's with, the uh, one. i feel like i've heard you say that one before if it's not the one from uh it's it's not the one from um um, now how there's like different books. I would say there's God of Knowledge, which is Ogma. Ogma. It's Ogma. It's Ogma. Okay. Yeah. He's going to say, um, when I stayed with the mayor um, back in Hallenshire, I actually went to the library and found a book about uh, the God of Ogma and was kind of interested in actually maybe learning a little bit more about him. Then if you were willing to go to Bella Chulish with us, I'm, I can show you to my order and and see if that's what you really want um i do not believe you should make the choice via a book i th i think you need to see what what all this life entails i mean you've seen the worst of it but i i would really like you to see the good parts as well absolutely uh yeah i mean like i said i'm not really gonna stop and stay somewhere unless you guys are stopping and staying somewhere just you know but uh, I like that. um let me be frank to me we don't um we don't agree with the uh, the dwarf's uh, drinking ways. So, like, no drinking? None whatsoever, child. Is it okay until I decide? <laughs> you make any choices you want until you decide. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you, Father White. Um, Just always remember that your life is your own, child. Okay, uh... And yeah, slap I mean, him on the ass and send him on his way. <laughs> Timmy's an alcoholic. Good game, Timmy. <laughs> I feel like we're Breezy and I are fighting for Timmy's soul. <laughs> Breezy's over there dying. <laughs> um, Achilles. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. If you want to go check on your horse, you can. Yeah. Sorry, I meant to, I meant to say that. Oh, I want to check on the stable. You good? Um, <clears throat> and I go ahead and check on my horse, and I. I guess I run into uh, Father White as he's leaving the uh, Yeah, he, you see him talking to maybe Timmy. You can't hear what he's saying, but uh, yeah, then you see him like kind of finish his conversation. And uh, as you're going to the stable, you know, you, you if you want to say something to him or mention, you know, just have a brief conversation with him, you can. Yeah. Uh, you know, Father White, uh, how are you feeling? Your injuries were quite severe. I've, I've been better, friend. Um... Thank everyone. I <laughs> usually like to keep my blood inside my body, but at this point, I didn't have the choice. I'd imagine that we all would. Uh, please take care of yourself. Uh, also, I will try. Be wary of your companion, the dwarf. Uh, I get a feeling from him that he is heading down a dark path that we should not follow. <laughs> I'm. I do not plan on following him, but if uh, if terms come to pass, I'm sure we will cross that road. Magic and Bree has been here the longest. They know each other already. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I mean, but I mean, under, understand. Like, it, I'm a, I'm a paladin. I, I follow the yeah, same yeah, gods I know. As, as I know. as Father White. Um. Yeah. 
And of course, if you if you need any help from me, please do not hesitate to let me know. I understand, but just um, be aware that we are all free to follow our own paths, whether it be good nor evil. But um, I wholeheartedly we all must worry the consequences. I wholeheartedly agree. I totally just got this vision in my head. It's going to be civil war for us. Reeves is on Iron Man. Dibs on Iron Man. Reeves is getting an open handed ass beating. It's coming. I'm going to slap Fox the fuck out of you, Reeves. <laughs> um, I head over to Brayor, my, uh, uh, my horse, to check, okay. on, to check on him. Okay. You know, yeah. make sure that he, everything's okay and nothing happened while I was gone. Uh, uh, I figure that Timmy's over there as well, right? Uh, Timmy's over by the cart, actually, which is ne- yeah. I mean, it's near the actual <laughs> drinking uh, heavily, angry, <laughs> drinking it's, it's heavily, angry goblin. Course. Get it in while I can, boys. But no, yeah, uh, Timmy's actually by the cart, which is by the tavern, uh, not too far okay. from the stable. So I pull, uh, I pull a couple of my supplies to repair my arm and uh, to my whetstone to sharpen my swords, uh, okay. and I head back to the tavern. Okay, sounds uh, good. On the way, uh, I run back into Timmy, and mm-hmm. um, I haven't met him, so I strike up a conversation with him. Yeah. Uh, you, um, when you when you see when you see him, he's just kind of like laying on the back of the cart, looking up uh, at, at the sky. Uh, Timmy, is it right? Uh, yeah, that's yep, that's the name they gave me. <laughs> well, we haven't officially we haven't officially met. Uh, as you know, I'm you know Archduke Kane Ripness. Uh, you can call me Kane, if you want. Uh, what brings you on the same path as the monk and the and the dwarves and the the gnome? Um. Well, they. Uh, I was more or less enslaved, actually, by uh, by an orc. Um, you guys actually fought some orcs, which I kind of think were maybe part of the same tribe. I, if I saw them, I could tell you. Um, I remember faces, but. Um, I was taken at a very young age, and they kind of just left me enslaved, and I had to kind of do whatever they said. Um, not too long ago, just a couple of days back. Um, yeah, they, they ran into to the orc, defeated the orc, and uh, the people that got away from the bandit camp, they, they kind of left me behind, and uh, Cassandra kind of took me in and gave me a name, and they've kind of let me just kind of follow suit with them for, for a while now. What path do you see yourself traveling on? You, are you going to continue to, to, to travel with you know, my fellow companions, or do you intend on forging your own path? Um, I've never really like thought about having, I guess, like my own path. Uh, you know, I've always been just more or less enslaved, you know, people trying to torture me. Um, these people feel like they're protecting me, or trying to at least protect me, so uh, I plan on staying with them, just kind of seeing where it leads me. Um, taking a slight interest in um, maybe potentially uh, the God of Agma. You know, just some books that I've read, you know, obviously being around people, you're going to, you know, get interest and kind of wonder things like that. And so, yeah, I mean, I don't know, like a, I'd actually like to be able to defend myself at some point too. I've always been a, the helpless kid that can't do anything and I don't, I don't want to be that anymore. Well, I can respect any man who wants, who wishes to defend his own life you know i've i come from a very you know very violent past my people were warriors who got enslaved or are currently enslaved by orcs uh, you know i can empathize with your with your point of view as much have you ever considered uh worshiping the the god of the god tempest the god of war um honestly i've never heard of him um ne- i'm never gonna say no to to learning of course um you know, but you said the god, the god of Tempest, god, the god Tempest, t- god Tempest. God okay, um, I'll definitely look into it next time we stop in a town that has a library. Um, I asked around, you know, I asked the barmaid, and she said there wasn't really a library in town anymore. Um, so I figure next time we stop in, I'll, um, I'll see if I can get a book and maybe read up on it a little bit, and see see what I think. Timmy, I also like to offer you, you know, if you wish to learn, you know learn how to defend yourself. I am more than capable of teaching you. Um, you know, I not only received training from my father, uh, you know, my father, but I also received training from the, from, from the elves of my land. 
uh, on how to fight. Uh, if you wish, and I purely leave this up to you as, as your choice, if you wish to become my steward and, and under me as, and, and under my tutelage, I would be more than glad to teach you how to fight and how to defend yourself. Oh uh, my god, if you train Timmy and Timmy <laughs> kills Glitter, Cassandra, <laughs> that would be awesome. oh my god. <laughs> Sick. Fucking. Of course, I mean, uh, you know. I mean, I, 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 I like that. I, do, I don't have a sword and I don't really have a lot of money to buy one. Um, I can work it off, though. Um, as, as a steward under, under my tutelage, I would, of course, you know, you would, you know, you'd be in my service and I would pay for your arm, your sword, you know, any of that what you, what you need to learn and to defend yourself. Okay. But, of course, this is, you know, this is a decision for you, and I don't want you to make it lightly. You do, do not decide now. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think I'm going to think about it for a little bit. Um, I might talk to Father White about it a little bit, if that's okay. Of course. Have a good night, Timmy. If you wish to join us inside, you may. All right. I'll Have probably be out here for a little bit longer, and then I'll be in there. I'm getting kind of hungry. And I, you know, I step back into the into the tavern. Okay. Um, Father White, you're not in the tavern. You went to go find a place to, to lay down? <clears throat> yep. All right. So if you want to go, if I don't know if we have people in here that can maybe want to do a spiritual ancestor thing. We could. Yeah, definitely. I think we have. I think we'd have enough. No, no. I want to have. We have twelve right now. We have twelve right now. Okay. So yeah, I mean, if if you if you can find people, cool. Um, we need uh, an ancestor for me. Father White, and then we need an Avenger, <laughs> I think, for Kane. Um, Bree, what's what are you doing? I want to have my turn with Timmy. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> He's not a hooker, man. Jesus Christ! All right. We're gonna change that. All right, there we go. Yep. So yeah, All I right. mean. Same thing. You uh, you 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 walk up to it. You you just see you just saw Kane kind of talking to him, um, and then walk inside, um, and then yeah. I mean, you you walk up to Timmy. He's just lay, again laying on the back of the cart, looking up at the clouds, um, just kind of pondering. Uh, it appears. Hey Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Hello, Sir Dwarf. Oh, your fucking stripper voice. You can... <laughs> hey, Timmy. Looking good today. <laughs> wanna party? You oh my god, learn... I almost spit up my beer. If you ever want to learn to hold your liquor a little bit better, you give me a call, okay? Damn it. Will do. Will do. That was... I don't remember it, but I think it was fun. <laughs> good I don't man. remember good it. Man. Jesus. Good man. Poor Timmy, <laughs> so confused. Uh, maybe, maybe once we get to the capital, we can have a have a drink or two. I look forward to it. For twelve. <laughs> For twelve. <laughs> and then I'm gonna walk inside. <laughs> okay. Oh, fair enough. So Slap cool. him on the ass and walk inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Um, all right. Anything else you guys want to do actually inside of the uh, inside the tavern, or uh, are you guys gonna kind of call it a night after you eat? Um, the mayor's gonna say, um, it's up to you guys, we can leave tonight, or we can wait until morning. Um, from what I've heard, there was only about the five or six that you guys killed, um, that were really the big problem, so I don't see there being an issue if we say tonight. Uh, but again, it's up to you guys, you know, uh, it's, Father White, it's your mission, uh, it's very, I know it's time sensitive, but, uh, with your injuries, I, I don't want you to overdo it, I don't want you to... Um, potentially scar yourself any more than you know you already have. Um, but yeah, talk amongst each other. Make sure this is what you guys what you guys want to do as a group, um, and just let me know. Uh, I would yeah, say, I... God forbid, that we um, we hit more bandits upon the road, and I'm not able to act. So yeah. I'd rather rest here, knowing, hoping that this is a safe place. Okay. I'd rather rest up so I can replenish my spells. Okay. Uh, just another day for me getting paid. I don't care what we do. <laughs> Well, getting paid just... from who, motherfucker? You got paid. <laughs> <laughs> well, the speaking of getting paid, Master Dwarf, still Did getting Warren paid though. He already Did got. Warren he he already gave his it. Payment? He... Yeah, he... No, I know, I know. Oh, I, this oh, is oh, in oh. this is in game. Master Dwarf, did you did uh, Warren get his payment? As much as I wanted to keep it myself, yes, he did. Yes, I did. <laughs> I want to roll a insight check to see if he's lying. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go to roll an inside check. God. Master Dwarf did uh, cuz he's always lying. <laughs> you roll a one. Master <laughs> Master Dwarf did uh did he receive the equal payment as the rest of us? He did as much as I wanted to keep it. 
he did. I mean, you, okay. you can you he can get somewhat believe he him. gets back. No, so, oh, for for yeah, I guess for your roleplay purposes, yeah, um, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so well, yeah. The tavern, right? <laughs> I was yes. gonna reassure so that there's no disputes. <laughs> sir, sir Duke, it's it's fine. He gave me gave me a plenty amount of gold. Sir Duke. <laughs> sir Duke. 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 Yeah. Very good. Um, uh, then uh, my, then you know, my Lord Mayor. Then I I think we should stay here for the night. Okay. Then yeah, uh, so be it. Uh, we'll leave uh, early morning. Um, it's about eight o'clock right now. Let's probably we'll try to shoot for maybe about a six ish a.m. leave time in the morning. Um, try to get back on the road. Uh, we were, I mean, we were going to stop here anyways initially, but uh, with there being bandits obviously in town, we were going to push through a little bit. Uh, ended up hitting the bandits instead. So either way it works out. Uh, but yeah, let's let's try to shoot for about a six a.m. start time tomorrow. Uh, so you guys got a couple hours if you guys uh, want it, but um, I'm assuming some of you guys are pretty tired or injured and just ready for some sleep. So uh, I bid you guys farewell. I'll see you in the morning, and yeah, have a good night. And he's going to start to walk away, let you guys have something you want to say. I'm going to walk over to the barmaid uh, is, and ask if there is a uh, temple anywhere in the town. Um, there is a temple. It's been abandoned, though. Um, okay. I don't, I don't know which... I don't know who I chose here. Uh, um, we'll say it's a god of... We're going to say it's a god of life. Um, if I can find one real quick. I can almost always find one real quick. Um, <laughs> no, we'll say it's uh, Lyra, uh, the goddess of joy. She's known to be with life. Um, it's a triangle with uh, three six-pointed stars. Okay. But yeah. Uh, it's, but yeah, it's it's been abandoned, obviously due to the raids. Um, they picked up and moved on to to the next place. I think it actually was a place for 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 magic, um, but I can't remember. Okay. Um, it was not for Ogma, but it was for another uh, no, same, okay. under the same like tier. I right. guess you would. Okay. So, God bless you. Thank um, you. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, anything else you guys need to do, or else? Uh, I'm gonna, you know, my fellows. I'm gonna bid you guys an early good night. I must pray and rest. And I head up to my room and I pull out the uh, the idol I have to Tempest mm -hmm. and I pray. Good night. And you wax King. it. Yeah, I wax <laughs> it. Make sure it's all shiny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It must keep itself clean. It must keep. <laughs> yeah. I, I wax my idol a lot as well. Oh baby! <laughs> wax on, wax off. Um, everyone else going to sleep or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is warm. I'm making camp. I'm going to sleep. Head upstairs to my room. God, you. You okay, Kane? You all right? Is everything okay? <laughs> Father White always making camp. I always make a camp. He likes to sleep hey. outside. That's what he does. Oh, Why don't you buy a tent, Stars. Dude? Stars. <laughs> it's pretty cold, but, I mean. Who, Tents who, who, are for losers. <laughs> can we, can we, can we roll for rain? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if you want to roll for rain, go ahead. I mean, Can we roll for not giving a fuck about your rain? <laughs> oh, my God. Kane rolls a 20, and light and magic gets stuck by lightning. I'm going to say it gets struck by lightning. I mean, if you want to. Oh, I bit my tongue. He's straight up. If you want to roll, you can. Uh, for rain, I don't care. No, it's not okay. raining. It doesn't rain. <laughs> it doesn't it's rain. rain. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. It's raining it's actually... inside your goddamn room right now. <laughs> it's almost a perfect night for magic. He's going to see very, very well tonight. See all the stars. Good. Um, I hope he does. So... As I'm waxing my idol. <laughs> uh, Thinking so of the barmaid. You two, Father White, Kane, get your things that you need. Um, we're going to take our three or four minute break. Um, when we come back, we'll see what's happening. So, yeah, guys, two, three minutes, grab a, grab a break, uh, grab a drink, grab a shit, grab a piss, whatever you need to grab, go grab it, <laughs> and we'll be back in just a couple minutes for you. Bye. <sighs>